Welcome to the 17th Amber Blindfold and Rapid Tournament. For the first time, this prestigious event is not being held in Monaco, but in Nice, a city located on the Mediterranean coast of southern France. The, ve the venue for this special tournament is the five-star hotel Palais de la Méditerranée. A special tournament indeed, because not only the players play a rapid chess, but also, and this you don't see anywhere else, blindfold games. This is what a blindfold tournament hall looks like. Players concentrating before a computer screen and making moves without touching any wood. The mouse and keyboard are doing the job. Newcomers Karyakin and Mamadiarov needed some extra instructions. Every player has their own style of concentrating. And as the laptop screens only show the 64 squares, players have to create a vision of the game in their minds. On his birthday, Bulgaria's top player Veselin Topalov beat Hungary's number one, Peter Leko. No, I would say because I have an eye to play bishop takes of six, I thought that rook be a bishop takes of six, I play rook b6. Yeah, and the rook b1, knight e5. Yeah, but this was my then bishop this is e4. Nothing. Yeah, bishop e4, rook b6. And you just play e3, yeah, you don't have to take, you just play e3 and it's uh, no, even at 4 it's better than you already. After the blindfold sessions, the players return to their classical environment with wooden boards and pieces. These games are played with reversed colors, and this time current world champion Anand beat Kremnik with a beautiful attack. Wow, well, it was uh, run with a uh, lot of spectacular games, it was, uh, it was nice to watch. It was a brilliant game from uh, Anand against Kremnik, a uh, very nice uh, queen sacrifice. Really beautiful to see uh, because he planned this queen sacrifice from well, from when he started doubling on the H file, so, uh, and it succeeded against Kremnik, so it's not so easy to do that, of course. And uh, uh, already in the analyzed room there were some players who, uh, who saw that, that ID, but it was so very late, so it was really. Of course, Burians in a, also in a rapid game to see such an idea. Afterwards, the two top players analyze their game for a while in the playing hall. Probably the most interesting match of this round was Levon Aronian from Armenia against Luke van Lely from the Netherlands. Afterwards, their post-mortem was watched by all the special guests, including GMs Bareyev, Nan, Jubojevic, Piquet, Smeets, Stelwagen and Lamy. Debutant Sergei Karyakin from the Ukraine beat Israeli Boris Gelfand one and a half half. In their rapid game, Gelfand had the advantage, but he had to settle for the draw. The last game to end in this first round was Vasily Ivanchuk, also from the Ukraine, against the young Norwegian super talent Magnus Carlsen. Although Carlsen had lost the blindfold game, after his draw in the rapid game he was still quite cheerful and said he had wanted his opponent to make one more move because for aesthetical reasons this game should have ended in stalemate.